Thanks for joining me for MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. I'm Dan Adams. Today we're talking about low force friction welding and low upset. So today we're going to talk about low force friction welding and making welds with low upset. I'll remind you that in a previous episode we talked about this continuum where on one side we have diffusion bonding which is all preheat and force with no relative motion. On the far side of the continuum we have traditional friction welding which is all relative motion and force with no preheat. With low force friction welding being in the middle of this. Now with low force friction welding because of the preheat aspect of this we can make very low upset welds as represented by these drawings showing a bulge of flash as opposed to a predominant flash curl. So the problem that this creates for users is if you need to remove this flash, if we could imagine that this is the wall of a tube, we need to possibly remove the OD and the ID flash. This flash curl presents a really ch uh, difficult challenge. If I'm bottle boring this or gas lancing, I might be milling or turning. Turning is one of the most popular ways to remove it, but now I need a two axis flash removal system, which is complicated and expensive to get these flash curls off without a ring or a bulge. Whereas if I'm going to make a low force weld, just having a bulge in the upset is a much easier flash geometry uh, to remove. One of the nice things about traditional friction welding is the weld is considered to be self-cleaning. That's because we generate so much upset that any contaminant that you might have on the surface of the weld gets moved out into the flash because of all the upset that we generate. Now we can do the same thing with a low force weld and generate enough flash to move that contaminant out. But if we have a clean interface, we can make welds that have the same quality with very low upset that might prevent you from even having to remove the flash at all. But if you do want to remove the flash, then we can create a geometry by manipulating the parameters of preheat, force, and relative motion in order to get one that is much easier for you to remove. So this is a significant value uh, for our customers that might remove a post-weld operation after the friction welder. Thank you for joining us for this episode of MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. For more information on this topic or other friction welding solutions, please visit our website at mtiwelding.com.